ओके बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम सो टुडेस अवर आई वुड फर्स्ट लाइक टू इनवाइट अवर गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर अरशद महमूद मलिक ही इज द प्रिंसिपल डीन ऑफ एच बी एस डेंटल कॉलेज इस्लामाबाद ऑफ पाकिस्तान ही इज एन एम डी एस एफ पी एम एफ एस एफ एफ पी एस ओ एम पी एफ आई सी डी एफ पी एफ ए ही इज एक्स प्रिंसिपल हेड ऑफ डेंटल सेक्शन हेड ऑफ फॉरन मेडिकल ऑफिशियल डिपार्टमेंट फ्राम पंजाब मेडिकल कॉलेज फैसलाबाद ही इज प्रोफेसर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट गाइड सुपरवाइजर एंड एग्जामिनर एंड पेपर सेटर इन कॉलेज ऑफ फिजिशन एंड सर्जन ऑफ पाकिस्तान and university of health sciences uh, punjab uh, university uh, chandra university pims islamabad s z k b university university of lahore isra university university of lahore he is uh, also the regent and fellow international college of dentists section 24 region 24 afghanistan and pakistan uh, he is uh, uh, the president emeritus of pakistan society of oral and mixed facial pathology He is president of uh, 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 Pakistan Dental Association Chakwal, Pakistan Medi- Medical Association Chakwal. He is also the fellow of Pierre Fosher Academy, FPFA, International Association of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery, Pakistan uh, uh, Society of Oral Maxillofacial. So this was the brief interview uh, of our uh, guest speaker, Dr. Ashan Mahmood Malik. Uh, so now I would like to hand over. Uh, uh, and invite uh, my uh, guest dr rashid mahmood malik to kindly start the lecture hello sir can you hear me hello assalam alaikum i think so uh, sir network has been blocked basically uh, he will be back in just one or two minutes uh till uh, till then uh, you guys keep patient and uh, as he joined back so we will start the lecture and i would request you to kindly uh, keep your mics mute so that no disturbance occurs Okay. Uh, I think so. There has been network uh, issues uh, from the uh, doctor Ashit Malik side uh, because of the rain in the area. Uh, you all guys know. So he will be joining uh, in just two or three minutes. Uh, till then, guys, uh, please be calm. And so basically, today is uh, our uh, topic is about. Uh, the intraoral radiography techniques this is the second uh, lecture of the oral radiographic uh, uh, oral radiograph uh, radiology series basically lecture series by dr arshad malik i hope uh, today's lecture will be very great and you guys will enjoy it and i would uh, uh, like to inform you guys that this lecture will also have a, a, a certificate of attendance so uh, be there till end so that i can uh, mark your attendance and uh, give and give you guys all uh, the certificate at the end and uh, do uh, let me know uh, in the email so that if you uh, if you didn't get your previous uh, certificate as well i will provide you with the previous certificate as well i am just waiting for a dr rashid i think he is uh, going to rejoin in just one minute uh, sorry for the inconvenience uh, but uh, today is better uh, and in network issues can lead to anything so never know what can happen
हेलो सलामकुम सर जी सर हेलो यस सर हेलो नेट का मसला आ रहा है यार हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सलामकुम सर ठीक है सर कोई मसला नहीं आप आराम से मैं इनको क्या कर देता हूँ ठीक है ओके तो आप आ जाए सर गाइस सॉरी टू इनफॉर्म यू सर के पास थोड़ा सा नेटवर्क इशू है तो इन ही विल बी जॉइनिंग इन टू मिनट्स प्लीज बी कॉम एंड जस्ट इन टू मिनट्स डॉक्टर अरशद महमूद मलिक विल बी जॉइनिंग अस so uh, just uh, there is network issue and it will be resolved in 2 minutes uh, so uh, sorry for the delay but uh, uh, i think uh, inshallah we will be having him in 2 minutes basically so uh, i would like to inform you guys uh, in the meanwhile uh, uh, be uh, in the whole meeting or do a uh, take screen shot of your presence uh, at the end i will uh, Uh, take screenshot of the whole attendance myself of the participant list so that i could come to know that who has attended the lecture basically so it he he or she will be provided with the lecture i think so uh, dr ashish malik has joined us uh, yes sir uh, i'm sorry everybody that there is uh, पाकिस्तान Uh, the picture of the radiography and we are going to study the basics of the radiography and uh, now we are going to start our second session and this uh, season of the 20 oral radiography is very much a uh, uh, sponsor and very much uh, uh, favored by the experienced dentist international college of dentist that then there is a um, uh, healthy pakistan then uh, we have uh, coordinated the Association of Pakistan Dental Association, Chakravar, Jinnawala, and Faisalabad, as well as the Lahore, has joined with us. Ladies and gentlemen, time there is a different connection going on. The International College of Dentists is displaying at its own way. So we have the second session today, and we. But in this old map, we cover in part. I mean, 
the patient management in such situations. Selection of the radiogram techniques and uh, radio, and I think we will cover the first part of the oral radiography. I'm looking at the patient management in special situation. And these are being children, not me to rise, special limitation, spatial. From first, we will start the patient reporting to you with the gagging. And in this patient, you are going to place the film. But these patients. Proper patient is the film order and especially negative statement. So, uh, when give the uh, rest uh, good pleasing words to the patient. This doctor don't uh, stress uh, to words uh, uh, what you say, uh, patient's uh, emphasis on the film. Try to distract the patient feelings away from the taking of the radiogram. Then salt on the, uh, the tongue. That is a, a very important thing that if it is a, uh, a one small uh, um, just, uh, few salts, uh, uh, what do you say, powder on the tongue and tear effect to prevent. Ask the patient to breathe rapidly from the nose. If the gagging is there and the patient is looking from the nose, the gagging effect leaves it. Flavoring the this is a very interesting thing that sometimes if you flavor the uh, film with uh, any chocolate or with anything, it is going to have the promising effect of, and it is against the um, uh, gagging. Topical anesthesia is sometimes flavor that you give a burgers which have the local anesthetic agent. Uh, like in Pakistan, there are so many. Um, Chloroxidine has uh, with, uh, with the local anesthetic agent used for the, uh, reducing the pain of the ulcer. You can use the topic and anesthesia. The second is the chair. Children are also very. Uh, naughty sometimes and sometimes very prompting as well. But uh, you have to have a child the film, which type of the radiograph you favor. White wing is what you can take. A closer sometimes sometime not possible. But the PA and uh, panoramic view that we did is uh, the uh, easy for the child go ahead because it is not an indoor procedure. Try to explain the procedure to the children, not so be excited and not so be non-promising one. Please, your very nice explanation to the children. Children sometimes behave with your explanation in a very nice way. Then, <laughs> not threatening, no doubt you are fault, but not the threatening attitude. And you side by side, you go on praising the children. Yeah, yeah, this is very excellent. Yeah, you are very wonderful. Boy. You are uh, like a spider man or uh, like this. This attitude, it is going to favor a lot in your uh, taking the radiograph. Next is the anorthal. A lot of people sometimes favor uh, and some do not favor. The third molar difficulties. Maxillary cuspid difficulties, sometimes there are tora, sometimes there is space limitation. <coughs> Sorry. Sometimes there is space limitation and the several fish has the tongue tap. But we are talking about the third molar. And it is very, uh, we take the uh, upper one. You see, this is the area yeah. you yeah. have to reach. And the better is that if you place the uh, film in a statement, it's not going to hurt the posterior aspect. And if you take the cone from the posterior side, rather than going parallel, it is better that you come from the posterior side, it will be more promising and it is not going to miss any image. You see, the five is there. But in case of parallel, when you are coming, the five is missing. So that is the way that you can go ahead for the uh, uh, exit. 
the Mexico spread is uh, another challenging thing. First thing is that you have the in such a way that uh, it is uh, very much enough in the uh, mouth. Diagonal placement has this narrow cut and it gives you more surface area as compared to placing them in a cubical way. And you see, this is a way when you place it like this, they you are going to cut it. But on the one side, you just place a cotton and then you place a, a, a film here, then you are going to have the full image. But if you are not balancing it with a, with a cotton roll, you are going to have the bisecting technique and technique you are both, both are different. Parallel technique we will study is by being a certain instrument which is going to place the film in the oral cavity. By the bisecting technique, you have just your thumb or the index finger, you place it in the oral cavity. But if you place it, this bisecting technique like this, you are not going to have the root apex. You are going to cut the root apex right there. The image will be not there. So if you do it like this, you are going to cover whole of the world. So that is another way, which is right here, that place the film in such a way that you are going to get the maximum image. Coming to the toris. Torais are also very annoying thing when you are taking the day. Torus pattern is in mandible and torus mandible is in mandible. In a torus pattern is in maxilla and torus mandible is in mandible. Place the film on opposite side of the palatal torus away from the teeth being radiograph. You have to place this light here. You see, this is your uh, parallel technique uh, instrument, which is placing the film right here, but place it away from the torus here, but away from the torus. You are going to... Uh, just uh, be there, guys. There is a network issue uh, uh, at from the Dr. Rashad's area from uh, in the Dr. Rashad area side. We will join that. Sorry, uh, there is a, a slight uh, interruption of the internet. So this is the place where you have to place the uh, film and that the PID, which is going to take the radiograph. It is like this is torus palatinus. You have to place it right here. If you have to take an X-ray on this side. And if it is big one, then you are going to place that uh, right here, just again. So this is the place where the big is present and you have to manage it by the same way. If the torus mandibulus is there, you have to place the film. This is torus mandibularis, this is tongue, this is tooth, this is mandible. And you are going to place the 
everything right there. And then you are going to place your X-ray cone parallel to that of the pin. And how you are going to take the X-ray when there is torus palatalis. Then is the space limitation. So generally, uh, when there is space limitation, Guys, uh, there is some network issue uh, uh, at Doctor Rashid's side. So uh, sorry for the inconvenience, but it will happen. Uh, so sorry, you guys are getting a disrupted lecture. Basically, I will uh, upload it again on the YouTube uh, after reading. So guys, you can easily uh, attend, uh, uh, see that lecture afterward uh, after it's published. And uh, after 7.30, the lecture will end. So basically, do join back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, I can hear you. Okay. Using the bisecting technique, it is better that when there is space limitation and you cannot place the instrument of the parallel technique, it is better that you use the bisecting technique. And that is by the other uh, angle. The next is the town type. It is another challenging thing by taking the radiogram. Using the bisecting technique may need to use the tongue and to score the film. Tape the film of the uh, X-ray to the tongue blade and place it on top of the tongue. And this is very wonderful to understand. You see, that is the tongue type. You see, this is tongue. And you have placed the film right here. You see this? Very sorry that uh, today is uh, and it is uh, maybe the it is so bad and uh, the uh, uh, that's why it is uh, uh, not promising. You see, this is tongue, it's the periapic and this. Uh, sir, sorry to interrupt, your slides are not visible. Kindly again share your slides. Sir, uh, your slides are not visible. Kindly share your slides. Yes, sir, not fine. Can you slide? Can you see it now? Uh, one minute, sir. It's, yeah. it's sta starting basically one minute. Uh, 
sir it's saying that you have started sharing screen sharing uh, but uh, we are not getting it sir again kindly share your slides Is it visible now? Um, Is it visible now? Yes, 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 sir. It's visible now. Okay, that is the. Uh, there is a big problem going on there in the net, and I am very much uh, really sorry to all the participants that uh, we are being interrupted again and again by the connection. Uh, not promising one here. So, using the tongue blade to score the film carpet and calloglossia or tongue tie. You play, you bind the film with the tongue blade like, and you place it on the tongue. Rather than it placing on the good side, you place it on the tongue. And you have to push the lingual film like this. So that, like I guess, if I give you information like this, you see, you have to place it like this. And you are touching the tooth and you are pressing the tongue and as well as you are pushing the freedom downward. So that is the treatment, how you are going to manage the tongue tie during a And if you feel is see in front of you, you see it is bounded to the tongue, uh, tongue blade and uh, the film you have placed is right here, not by your finger, it is by the tongue blade and then uh, you have to place it right over the uh, tongue tie. Then is the trismus. For the trismus, it is a prolonged jaw of the muscles, spares due to pericolitis, due to any problem. That For, for that, you can best is you use the pan, panoramic view or a closer view or perical, periapical if you want to take take with the hemostat. And that we are going to describe you directly. This is the limitation of the opening of the mold. Take the phage or hemostat, the artery forcep, in thing with the hemostat, insert the film in the mold with the film parallel to the floor. You see it is parallel to the floor and put it right there. This is the crucial step you are taking. And when you are uh, when you have placed this film inside, you are going to rotate it. It is just you rotate it like this. And you are going to take the pin. Just go first parallel, and then it will rotate it like this. And you are going to have your uh, image of uh, the person uh, radiograph, which has the limited mouth hole. Now, edentulous. Edentulous best you take panel view, the upper view that is more promising one. For the handicap, it is a big challenge for you. And for that, the film holder generally it uh, best is to use the finger for holding the uh, uh, film in the handicap people. And better that uh, you are not going to have that by yourself. Uh, take the assistance from the relative or from friend, and uh, always uh, uh, use the lead apron to protect the handicapped children. Then is the hepatitis and HIV patient. I don't, I don't think that there is any need of uh, giving explanation to all the uh, parameters which are universal precaution. You have to use all the universal precaution, mouthwashes, isolation, then uh, prevention of the saliva, then you, your own protection, protection of the um, uh, hemostat or what you the film holding uh, equipment. And the most uh, important thing is that you have to prevent the slavery contamination and uh, any bleeding contamination over the film of the surface of the film. Then is the pregnancy. It is also very important that, uh, that the fetal exterior is only one micro gauge full mouth series. That means limited because it is a dental x ray, it is a min minimum, but uh, no doubt. The fetus won't For the fetus 
who is in uh, just initial stages of the development may get nutrition for that for the, it is better that to avoid the uh, exposure यस सर वो दोबारा मीटिंग शुरू हुई आई एफ हाँ यस सर स्टार्ट कर दिया आप आ जाए जी सर आ जाए सर जस्ट वन मिनट गाइस लेटिंग यू यू ऑल इन सर सर काइंडली शेयर योर स्क्रीन Pregnancy, newborn child is very sensitive to ionizing radiation, especially in the initial first trimester. You know there is a uh, always a problem of the mutation, and that is why we generally uh, do not favor in the first trimester. There is not going to have any type of radiography. Limited radiography examination during the pregnancy to cause the with a stress. diagnosis indication just uh, on the, those cases where you uh, like to have the very um, say pericoronitis or say there is a you are going to drain the abscess then in those condition you are sometimes you have to take the radiogram postpone the elective procedure until the termination of the pregnancy this is the wonderful uh, bird that you do not do anything with reference to ionization ionizing radiation during pregnancy Look, this is all about the patient management in special. Now we are going to the start of this uh, uh, roadmap of today. That is the selection of the radiographic technique. For that purpose, you have to take the good dental history and clinical examination. And I think that every one of you uh, are familiar with the taking of the dental history and clinical examination from where you are going to take what is the size of the mouth what is the age of the patient what is the size of the jaws and what is the uh, tongue size what is the size of the cheek and why you are going to take this radiogram what is the history what is the any 
infection is patient age, especially all these parameters and clinical examination, there is any ulceration, there is any tumor, there is any elevation or there is any trauma in the oral cavity, you are going to have a proper look during the clinical examination. The next with, with I will favor that is with a professional judgment. Professional judgment is very much dependent on the uh, uh, dental surgeon education level. Uh, how much the radiographic sense the person has. If he, he has a good radiographic sense, he will take the radiograph precisely. He will uh, insert the MAs and KVP in a very standardized way. And he will keep the uh, standard of the radiography during taking the technique and that he is not going to take the repeated radiograph. Now the experience is another very important thing that uh, you see the patient and you plan yourself at once by you are going to take the finance it is also very important for the taking of the radiographic uh, interpretation and that is that uh, what type of uh, radiographs you need and sometimes it is uh, not uh, so important that uh, you are going to take the bigger x-ray like uh, OPG, you are going to take the CAT cam when uh, there is problem especially of the patient finances patient is not going to afford so you can take uh, this uh, judgment and take the periapical radiograph to uh, solve your um, what you say uh, problem now after the professional uh, judgment what is the selection criteria for the selection criteria there are two things one which you have to be careful one is the film and print selection and second is the uh, ADA guideline, that is American Dental Association guideline, and we are going to pay. For the film and selection, these are the different films which are used in the oral cavity. Now, there are also digital x-rays, and digital x-rays as a standard uh, number three codes, and uh, are being uh, utilized in uh, every aspect. Uh, Uh, I think so. Uh, the signal has been blocked again. Uh, he will be uh, uh, back in one or two minutes, uh, basically. Uh, so let's wait, guys. So that is the X-ray beam which we are going to receive, but this is the film we have not placed it completely. But we are going to get is that we are going to miss the image. You see, this is your placement. That is your instrument of placing the uh, film that is parallel technique. And you see, you have missed this one. So if you are going to miss the 
missed the yeah, yeah by, by not placing the proper way you are going to win. So what is that? You can do it like here that you are going to place the more core posteriorly. You are going to miss the anterior one and you are going to get the image. There is a black here and there is only image right here. And that is due to wrong placement of the core. So that you must remind. Then what is the guideline of the American Medical Association? Full mouth series is up to five years. Then binding is in less than uh, five years. That is six months to three years. Yeah, just take the binding X-ray. Do not go for the root X-ray or periapical X-ray. By the panoramic view, generally it is very difficult to take for the children. But uh, it, you can go ahead uh, up to one to five years, and then that is the uh, uh, guideline for the kids by the American Dental Association. Now we are coming to the third portion, which is very important, that is intraoral radiography. Intraoral radiography, we are going to cover all these techniques. Parallel technique, bisecting technique, technique, tube shift technique, and occlusal technique. So today we will favor that we will start with the parallel technique. Now indication for the pen, Number, Number one is the pallor. Recommended for pallor. Sorry for the interruptions, but today the net is not in good shape because of some weather conditions and also because of Ashura. Uh, network, there are a lot of network issues, mm -hmm. so signal problems. Uh, I hope so, sir, will join back in one or two minutes. So thanks all guys for being patient, but uh, today's lecture is going to happen like this. With breaking of uh, and a lot of interruption in the network. Uh, but uh, I hope uh, after that this lecture is recorded and uh, I will try my best uh, to uh, merge it in a way that uh, there is no interruption in the lecture and you guys can uh, uh, hear it uh, and watch it again on the YouTube channel basically of experience in this week. Uh, so Let's wait for the sir to come again so that he can uh, again the lecture. And do listen to these lectures very carefully because uh, at the end of the session of the season. There will be a quiz or basically of MCQ and the certificate of appreciation will be provided to the ones who have heard this like heard these lectures very well and will perform uh, more than 50 percent in the quiz will be awarded uh, with the Dr. Ashan Malik signed uh, basically certificates of certificate of appreciation. So uh, do attend these uh, lectures uh, very carefully so that you can get that certificate of appreciation. Let me see if it has joined again or not.
the third is very important and that is by right there which is basically for the proximal caries and alveolar caries the abdominal it it is generally for the buccal lingual portion of getting the abdominal identity of the disease then is the panoramic that is the wonderful way of carrying our overall evaluation of the dentition and best for the third molar e dentulus and tristus patient and that is all the things which are cleared using and that is the indication of the film now in our radiography we will start from the parallel technique parallel technique is basically a technique where put film and the core of the x-ray are in play this you see that is the that is the tooth and that is x-ray beam and this is the device which actually hold all the three things in one line and that is the uh, technically we say it as a parallel technique in this technique the tooth the film and the x-rays they are coming in one line and they produce the image which is called as the tooth parallel to the long axis of the film and that is the true image of the x-ray uh, of the uh, tooth for that purpose what we see here is the better dimensional accuracy being alignment is simplified we are not to adjust anything like this device to standardize the film for the your post graduate study you can apply it and head position not critical you can place it anywhere with the help of the device slightly uncomfortable where there is limited opening of the mouth and uh, it is limited by the anatomy the macro glossia a uh, big cheek or like this or a uh, big lips as well it, uh, it is uh, difficult for to take that is the device which we are looking for and that is called brain xy is this place is to hold the fit that, that is the place is the where we bite the, the, on the, the surface of the uh, in device in by, by the, the teeth. teeth this is the indicator will come out from the oral cavity and that is the place which we uh, uh, give parallelism to our x-ray core for the anterior it is like this this is the device outside and that is the where you bite the incisor and that is the place where you place the film and that is for the posterior you bite it like this and that is you place the film and that is the parallel graph this you see from the anterior you see if you this uh, is like this is your film and that is your device look but when you look at the molar it is like this that you place it to bite it on the surface and your this uh, film will go on the uh at the apical aspect so that is the two devices which we use for the parallel technique these are the two films number 1 and 2 and for the digitography we have the standard number 2 a uh, size is available and that is uh, for anterior as well as for the posterior but for the children it is the zero film uh, where you place it uh, but and for the posterior you place it in a uh, horizontal way remember all the way that the white portion is for the facing of the tooth and opposite facing of the core this is for the x-ray film 
but the digital phone has the you know, the opposite side there is the attachment of the lead and sometimes there is the marking that this is the head position should always be remember this is not a two frankfurt plane but it is like this that the maxilla should be in the straight line to the floor maxillary line of a through the line should be straight to the floor by the mandibular line when you placing the pen it should be also posteriorly emerging at the wide line is generally that uh, you have to tilt your foot in uh, your head in such a way that the tragus and the angle of the lip angle of the lip and tragus should be in line and where for the upper and tragus and the angle of the nose should be in line this is the two parameter for the head position This is the best way to take the radiograph. You can tilt it like this for the upper and for the lower. Sometimes you have to go like this. These are the three position as well for the parallel techniques. So these are the slots which are made in the instrument to engage this. This is facing toward this area. Like here, like here, which is facing toward the floor. So, so this, this is the line where it is engaged. So, so this, this is for the posterior teeth. It is yellow in color. You place it. This is facing toward the floor. This is facing toward the floor. That is the area where you place the pen right here. This is that is true. Now, when you the pid should be equal from the and with fourth of the ring it is like this, this is pid that means this is the core x ray cone should be like this r and these two are not correct pid should be parallel to the device not giving one angle or giving too much distance from the device it should be incorporated with the surface of the device that is very important that you see this is exactly the upper tooth x ray you are going to take it is touching the body of the device there is the x and there is the pid or what you say x ray core now you are going to take an x ray of the periapical area as well as the core but if you are taking like this this apex of the top and the device angle is not touching you are going to miss the periapical area of the x ray and that is incorrect there should be the top should be touching the device it is like this it is parallel but if you are going to do this this is not parallel and it is going to hurt so that is the ideal thing this is the x ray this is the tooth and that is pid approximately 20 degree 20 degree diversion it is acceptable why we place the parallel technique 20 degree diversion is acceptable by the pid and you place it like this and you are going to have the image accurate rather than getting our device very in a inefficient way you can have the liberty of the 20 degree with reference to pid parallelism Now, you see this. I have already the the one thing is the device and the lip should be in line. This PID should be nearer to the uh, area, and that is the parallel way. Here you see there is much distance from to to the device as well as from device to the alveolar bone. these both things are not 
promising. So it should the test should be less from this device to the fin as well as the foot should be resting on the device. Second is that a fin should be resting on the palatal side. It there should not be a tear and in the tooth gap in the palate is not going to give you the proper image of periapical area. These two gaps, these two gaps may result into very bad radiographic interpretation, especially with reference to periapical radio. So that is the wrong thing that you the and you have to place the thing right over the tooth and it should be very you are going to get the periapical radiogram. And if you are going to touch both of the teeth, you're going to get good image. You may hold your uh, device by your hand, as the patient upper and lower teeth should bite the device and you place the pin inside. It is also touching, it is also touching and the both teeth are also touching the device. And that is the cone distance. It should be reduced up to this level. And then you are going to place the cone. Now that is the accurate way. The cone is right there. The tooth is being placed together. Together. And important here, not to hurt the soft tissue if there is a uh, space between that okay and that is the device this in inside and the exact palette technique for the NTGFT. here you see the same device uh, indicator for the PID that is the intraoral and that how you are going to take the x-ray that you see film is touching the palette Film is the device is touching the upper and lower. If you feel the gap, you place the cotton right here, and that is the parallel extension. And how you are going to get the good x ray. Each tooth I just give you for the anti maxillary incisors. You see, you are placed in such a way that the periapical area for the center and the later incisor should be covered. It is like this. You see, you have placed your film here, and this is the lateral incisor and center incisor. Both we are going to take. And if you see from the lateral side, upper and lower teeth bolting on the surface. This is the film placed right there in the palate. It is also touching. Both teeth are touching. The device is nearer to the lips. And that is the X-ray beam indicator of PID position indicating device. And that is the X-ray you are going to get if you are going to have the accurate placement of the pad. And that is the bigger film. If you are going to take the bigger film, you are going to get all the four inside the area. In the maxillary canine, you same parameter place such a way that it is uh, uh, covering the periapical area also the slightly tilt position of the device and same thing should be considered biting the x-ray canine is in the lower canine and uh, lateral pin and that is the position and that is exact the of the both you place here the device and you are going to get the x-ray at the approximate angle of 45 degree of the angle technique of the core and how you are going to get this step but you are going to get the overlap sometimes from the premolar it is not available because the premolar is just attached with the each so sometimes there is problem and that problem that is you cannot see, uh, especially in the bisecting, you cannot place the cone here. You place the cotton board over the device, 
and uh, this device is running the full and you are going to get the exact variable region. So between the bite block and the mandibular teeth to place the cartridge. The premolar you place the longitudinal in the horizontal so that you are going to get a maximum periodical image and you are going to place the your nose you see this yellow one that is the posterior teeth so you are going to place the yellow device right and the key should be like this that it is touching the palate this is the area you are going to get and that is the PID that is the position it is about 30 degree you are going to take this ray just be needed as zygomatic uh, eminence and at lateral cancer parallel to the lateral cancer this is the best position of getting the K9 image and that is the I, I think again the sir your uh, slides have been disappeared kindly share again uh, i'm just cover, going to cover to uh, You see this, uh, we are going to take the premolar and uh, that is the image we are going to get the beautiful premolars and all the things here. Now we are coming to the last slide of today, it is maxillary molar, the thin center, it is like this, that you are not going to pinch the posterior aspect, and you are going to hold the posterior, all the maxillary teeth in such a way that So this uh, and from an anterior limit to posterior limit, there should be an equal distance from the film. That is the position of P and absolutely parallel them should be there. And how you attack, the angle is a gaze loose that is uh, up to 20. The letter cancers and maximum maximum bulge of the uh, uh, zygoma is the main placement. That is the image you are going to get. <coughs> But uh, the thing is the time you are going not to get the periapical region in the molar teeth. Here you have the liberty that you can I think that this is uh, maybe the uh, last slide of today. That if you are orus palatinus in maxill mandibular molar, you are going to right here to place in the shape which described, which we have described before. Okay, this is mandibular that is orus palatinus, and I think that. Ladies and gentlemen, I be
I think so. Uh, sir, uh, question has been disrupted again. Basically, I. Sir, your mic has been muted. Kindly unmute your mic. सर आपका माइक म्यूटेड है आवाज नहीं आ रही एक सेकंड ओके अभी ठीक आई थिंक दैट दिस इज ड्यू टू नेट प्रॉब्लम सो मेनी थिंग्स व्हिच वाज नॉट प्रॉमिसिंग वन टुडे एंड स्पेशली विद अ रेफरेंस टू द वीडियो द सेम कंप्लेंट आई हैव रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम इंटरनेशनल कॉलेज ऑफ डेंटिस्ट बिकॉज़ दे आर डिस्टिंग टू मोर देन 100 कंट्रीज and uh, this is the problem in pakistani net that they are facing so it is uh, i think uh, that's all for today and uh, we will continue inshallah next friday i think that uh, uh, i will manage the better net and so that uh, our session should not be i am here to answer the question if any person has sir there is one question uh, by dr muntaha tariq sir can you tell about the location of dot on x ray film for all the four quadrants what you say sir uh, she is asking that uh, can you tell the location of dot on x ray film for all the four quadrants can you chat to me uh, that i can because uh, yes sir yes sir i, I will uh, copy the message and send you just one minute mm. sir uh, kindly check chat and i have now pasted in everyone and um. uh, actually today was uh, ashura's day as well Location of the dot on the X-ray film for all the four quadrant. Jazakallah, sir. It's a very simple way that you paste the dot on your film, and uh, always uh, uh, the dip uh, is uh, which is the pouch. It is facing uh, towards the cone, uh, but you say X-ray film, and that is a. Uh, but nowadays uh, these things are gone. There no there are no such dots are these things are gone because. Uh, digital x ray and uh, x ray film are modified and uh, now there is no uh, uh, things like dot dot are uh, available now they are not available these are the previous starts this uh, um, uh, these uh, um, slide i have made during my uh, um, approximately 5 10 years back when i was in dima mercy college of dentistry and a uh, few of them was taken from the, one of my colleague and uh, these uh, slides are uh, older one now the dart placement is not so mandatory and uh, the extra films are uh, uh, they are whether the dart is above or down it uh, don't matter at all if anyone has uh, an wasim uh, have to see you there sir thank you very much uh, actually today the session was a uh, very uh, much disturbing because it uh, has been uh, interrupted uh, many time by the internet disconnection but still sir it was a good learning experience so we may kehna chahta i just wanted to add ke with conventional uh, radiographic films ये जो डॉट और दीज टेक्निक्स आर देयर दीस डेज वी हैव डिजिटल इमेजिंग so the motion doesn't have those dots and yes uh, i'm professor ibrahim basically uh, the things are that uh, we are uh, uh, so advanced now that uh, approximately films are gone uh, now yes, we are sir. digitalized everything and uh, these are just uh, uh, but uh, for the student it is very mandatory especially for the third year and fourth year student it is very mandatory and especially for the person Uh, seeing my uh, on the YouTube or like that, 
that you must understand the basis of radiography. Uh, the main thing we don't know the how to place the film on the tori patient, how to place the film on the ankyloglossia, or um, limited mouth opening, how to insert the film in the limited mouth opening. These are the basics A, A, B, C, which are actually uh, very important. This is one question that uh, something special like right upper for this quadrant and different from other quadrant. No, there is nothing, anything uh, special difference from that. Uh, there is a place actually behind the torus. Uh, will it not disturb the uh, superimposed block on the perigeal region? No. The thing is that uh, when you place the film on the uh, radiograph and uh, these teeth are more uh, dense as compared to the bone. So when a tooth is uh, coming uh, uh, to give the image, it uh, overlaps the image of the uh, bone. So there is no any problem with the tora because you always see that uh, on your buccal side, uh, there is bone. On the lower side, there is bone. But whenever you take the uh, X-ray, you always find the bone on the uh, medial and lateral side. You, you do, do not get the image of the buccal plate, and you do not get the um, uh, image of the lingual plate. There are um, uh, some much within the dense image of the dentine and enamel. So uh, whenever you take the Distance radiograph with reference to right, it is being overlaid by the dense image of the tooth, uh, so there is no problem at all. Thank you. 